Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fader, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between September 1st and 8th, 2018. I have Georgia by my side, she's a little off camera, I know this is a kind of torture. Let's see if I can tilt this a minute. Yes, we have a cat here uh, that is purring right now. So... How have you been, you know? I know that we can feel, and as I said it in our last video, we can feel worn out. We can feel lethargy, we can feel tired, we can feel like we want to sleep, we want to escape. We want to have a vacation. We want to be passive. That's one influence we have in the sky this week. As the sun is, uh, is opposing Neptune. The other influence that we have in the sky this week, we, like, we've, we've all been feeling that the heat is coming down and the intensity is coming down as this Mars retrograde is finishing up. <clears throat> it's still intense, it's still hot, but it's not as hot or challenging as it was in previous weeks. Things start falling into place. And this is connected to what I had to say about the second influence we have in the sky this week, which is a grand Earth trine between Saturn, which is really the skeleton of our life, the laws we live by. And there's many kinds of sets of laws that said Saturn. There's the communal law, the human laws, there's universal laws and there's personal laws. And somewhere along all of these, you know, you find your truth. And Saturn is there to provide us with alignment, connectivity to our reality, understanding the work that needs to be needed, that needs to be done and the limits that need to be set in order for this to go over the right tracks. Uranus is there as the visionary, updating and upgrading our life and that skeletal structure that we rely on. And Mercury, the planet of communication, thoughts, ideas, the way we navigate throughout our neighborhood and, and close vicinity, our interactions, with people around us. And these three come up in a big earth trine at the end of this week. Really having a very settling effect that brings things uh, into a much more practical scope. It's as if many things have been hanging and now things are going to become irrelevant and go past us very fast and so take the burden off our shoulder because they're irrelevant by now or fall into place and you know fall in line with how we restructure our life this is a great time to do those restructuring and to actually take forward important projects in our lives it's a great time to sign deals it's a great time to be um, creative mentally and actually implement those ideas into one's reality. <clears throat> so, Georgia, I think you're losing your hair. Anyway. Saturday, we're having a T-square between the Moon and uh, Jupiter and Mercury. That T-square, as I said before, can deal a lot with tactfulness, discretion, not asking for too much, not demanding too much, not indulging too long, not uh, uh, needing uh, uh, or requiring too much attention or emotional uh, uh, attention and basically 
being very aware of the ideas and the words that I send out on that day and make, making sure that I do not go beyond the boundary of what is considered good taste. Um, but on another note, this could be a great day for sucking in new information, for bringing in new ideas, for challenging yourself mentally and empowering, um, empowering yourself. As a result, this is a day that we should look for our guidance and strength from within, not from people around us. That can only cause um, objections and, and, and um, arguments. So on Sunday, the second morning time, Central European time, remember if you're in the east coast of the USA about nine hours before, if you are in the Pacific, let's say Sydney, about nine or ten hours ahead. So Sunday morning, Central European time, is a very energetic morning. It's a great time to make up for uh, things you needed to finish up or, or uh, run through. Uh, to do all kinds of errands or physical work. It's a great time to work out. It's a great time to go outside. Um, exert energy. Because when we block that energy up, it can become uh, volcanic or eruptive. Monday the 3rd, it can be a day in which you will feel a little discombobulated, forgetful, or uh, just, you know... More, more lethargy going on on that day. Uh, it's a great day for more subtle activities like enjoying a good film or seeing something in a gallery, anything connected with art or music or going outside to nature or uh, um, spiritual things are favored on that day. But you know these days that kind of don't work out, like things don't fall into place, it could be kind of one of these days. Uh, the afternoon is much more pleasant, and I suggest that you spend that Monday afternoon, the third, um, with other people doing something fun. Now, of course, you can say, what kind of an astrologer is this? Of course, I'll enjoy myself. I'll go with some friends and do something fun on Monday afternoon. It's a kind of a self-fulfilling self prophecy. But I wish you that all your self-fulfilling prophecies will be as positive as this. Go out, have fun. Um, just don't overdo it, as I said. Fourth, it's a Tuesday. It's a really fun morning. Good time to spend with other people. A good time to love. Good time to communicate. Good time for money. Good time for affection. Um, However, the evening time is a much more, you know, h harsher, more judgmental time. Uh, from the afternoon onwards, Central European time, it's a much more sensitive time uh, that we need to be aware of our own and other people's feelings around us. Wednesday the 5th, um, nice day, just a nice day. Um, very spiritual day in its essence. Uh, there is a grand trine, I think, with the moon and, and Neptune. And, and let me see if I'm not mistaken telling you this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a, a water trine. Grand Water Trine with the Moon and, and Neptune and uh, Jupiter on the afternoon time. Wonderful time for anything connected with spirit, art, and uh, expanding your knowledge, and touching the other side, talking to the muses, going outside, spending time in nature, uh, just meditating or doing a ceremony. Wonderful time for that, that Wednesday afternoon. Night time, however. Nighttime is a time that we need to be aware, not to dig in too deep, not to be obsessed with anything, and 
to make sure that we don't have any hidden motives. Um, it's a great time for intimacy, it's a great time for sex. As long as we don't take it too far, we don't make it too extreme. Thursday, the 6th, we all become more organized for the next few uh, weeks. It's like things really fall into place. Mercury, that has a lot to do with organization, goes into its ruling sign of Virgo, where everything is organized in its place, on time. And we all become a little bit more like that. And Saturn, which is also a planet that has to do a lot with rules and regulations and uh, lining up and making a system out of it, our system, and taking responsibility starts moving directly back forward. So things connected with our maturation processes, with uh, our work and career, with uh, life lessons can start going a little more smoothly as time passes. Um, however, afternoon time, be aware of your own aggression, of the aggression of people around you, of conflicts, and of just being too emotional. Um, Friday the 7th, we're having a grand earth trine between uh, Uranus and Saturn and Mercury. And we talked about that trine already at the beginning of the video, but that's really the time that everything pieces up together and there's a kind of calm that can uh, transcend. And a feeling that, yeah, you know what, we're, we're not there yet. But yeah, this new system is, is starting to make sense. This, this new track I'm on is, trying, is starting to materialize before my eyes. And on uh, Saturday, we're having the moon make that grand earth trine, very close to Mercury. So it's still a very blessed day. It's a nice day to spend with people as well and just do things that are out of the ordinary, even with family members. However, late night, watch it, especially in intimate relationships. We are going towards a new moon. The moon is in perigee, so that means it's in, a, in its closest approach to Earth. It's on the ascending node, the north node, the dragon's head during uh, those last few days of the week. It's a time that we could be extra moody and our emotions can play a bigger part, but it's also a time that we have a lot more intuition. And it's a great time to go inside and listen to the ether and do those ceremonies, visualizations or meditations that we talked about previously. Anyway, um, I know a couple of people approach me regarding a beginner's group. If more of you are interested, we're still waiting for two more people to join us. And regarding a beginner's group, and uh, uh, regarding an intermediate group as well. So beginners and intermediate. And state which group you're interested in when you contact me. And I want to thank you for uh, listening to this, commenting on this, liking this, sharing this. This exposes the videos to more people. And just on behalf of Georgia of myself, wishing you a pleasant flight and a beautiful week ahead.